welcome back to my channel today i wanted to show you guys what i carry in my conkin bag i use this for work and i use it for school and i just carry a lot of crap in here it is so heavy so so heavy but and as much as i've cleaned it out and emptied and reevaluated what i do need and don't need to carry with me i just i feel like i need everything that's in this bag right now I don't know I, I don't understand it but anyway this is the Konkin 15 inch laptop bag so it has a opening in the back for my laptop I don't have my laptop in here at the moment but I do have my um, iPad but anyways let's just start get right into it there are two pockets on the side one here one here one in the front and like I showed you guys a pocket in the back for your uh, computer or if you want to put your iPad back there you can I don't I keep it inside but let's start with this pocket here I have a mini umbrella just keep it with me all the time because you just never know when you're gonna need it even though I check the weather channel when I need it I don't have it with me so I've learned my lesson I just keep it with me all the time oh I have a mini tripod with me Okay, well, I was looking for that. And on this side, I have my Hydro Flask water bottle. It also does hold an 18 inch Rambler Yeti that I have somewhere. I can't find it right now, but my 18 inch Yeti fits in here. But right now, it's the Hydro Flask. Right here in the front pocket. The front pocket is really tight and it's really small. I don't know if it's because this is the laptop bag, but I've seen other versions of this bag and it seems like the front pocket is a lot bigger. This one is a lot smaller, so I kind of have to squeeze all these things, all these things in here. But I still managed to get quite a bit in here. And first things first, I have my AirPods Pro. I have a charger for my MacBook. This stays in here all the time because I have left my charger at home numerous times. I open up my Mac and it's about to die. Never fails me even though I'm always charging it. I don't know what the hell. I have a hand lotion and um, hand sanitizer. These are both from Bath & Body Works. They are the Hello Beautiful fragrance scent smell whatever this is my favorite one it's i think it's the prettiest the cleanest smelling one it's nice i have my school id and i have a pack of wet ones okay i have one random cleansing wipe For that just stuff it all back in there but it does fit you do have to pay a little tetris in here but it all does go back in there Ugh. there you go back in there Let's go on to the main compartment. Yes. Double zipper. First thing first here. You see focus. Is my work badge. I do have um, keys to two locks in here, and I do have another pair of AirPods. I just keep them on my badge. I have to keep them there. You never know when you're gonna need them. I have a small makeup pouch, and just have you know everyday necessities I do like this this is uh, sheets of soap that I got uh, it's been a couple times I went to a bathroom and there's no soap that's so disgusting especially in a hospital what the hell but I like these put some water and start washing your hand it dissolves and there you go and I just keep you know chapstick 
blush, concealer, mascara, brow pencil, and a eyeliner, a mini native deodorant, makeup wipe, no. The basics, just a touch up. Here, my work PPE. I have my stoggles, which are my um what the heck is this called? My safety eyewear. Instead of having to wear those big old goggles or something. These are cute and more fashionable. I should have gotten prescription. I think I will. I have regular surgical masks and two N95 that I need to wear to work, at work, for work, whatever. And I have this huge, this is what takes up all the weight and all the space in my bag. This is a really cute uh, makeup pouch that I have. This is more like my tech bag. So let me show you guys. Can I get a little closer? I'll have a link down below if you're interested. But it's pretty spacious. It opens all the way down. This is what it looks like on the inside. But I'll show you guys what I have. I do have one of those uh, thermometers. The, um, the infrared thermometer. I like to take my own with me because depending on what department I'm in, they don't have enough for all the staff members and I got sick and tired of hunting girls down to borrow there so I could check vitals on a patient. So I just bit the bullet and bought my own. And I have, we're gonna start with the middle because there's a lot of crap in here. I do take my own pens, highlighters, and a washable, erasable marker, all that. I do have this little case here. This is an extra battery for my G7X, um, an adapter that connects to my computer or my iPad so I could connect my micro USB. Um, flash, not flash drive. How are they called? The memory card. So I can insert my memory card if I need to edit on my lunch break or something. This is a really nice one. This is from Anchor. And it has the ports for the micro and regular size memory card and it is USB-C. So I really like that because I can connect it directly into my iPad and my or my MacBook. I have adapters for USB-C to USB and like I said an extra battery for my Canon. That's that. I have a alcohol wipe, bandage scissors, I have uh, two locks for some reason. And I actually use the scissors depending, like if I'm in the surgery clinic, which I haven't been in a while, but I do keep these with me anyways, because in the surgery clinic, if I'm ever in the, uh, with the wound doctors, I have to remove all the bandages that a patient has over their wounds. And sometimes, again, I cannot find their scissors. Everybody has their own stuff. So just carry my own. This also is, like I said, my tech bag. So I have... Uh, earbuds the regular ones because sometimes I have to do a Webex or something and I have to connect these to the computer More cleansing wipe and alcohol wipes Chargers for everything my Apple watch my phone and my um, iPad I have the Apple MagSafe battery pack Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. That's how I'm gonna say on that. I have a big ass brick. This is the one that came with my iPad. This is the 20 watt one. And it is USB-C. And then I have the mini one for my phone, the USB-C. This one is, how many watts is this one? No, you say. 
No, it says on here somewhere. I don't know how many watts it is, but I know my boy is gonna comment down below. So let me know, bud, what it is. I have a pack of toothpicks. And for some reason, I have a, I know I have this, an extra badge reel. I have it because mine broke the badge reel that I had. So that's why I had to get this, um, the chain one, the strap, the lanyard strap. I prefer badge reels. But actually, since I started putting my AirPods on there, I've been using the lanyard version. Just works so I can keep that and I'll deal with that later um I do have a pack of KN95s that were given to me when I was in neurology uh the MAs get a pack of five every Monday and um, it's one obviously one for every day of the week I need to have in here. that's four so I must have been there on a Monday got a fresh pack and I just didn't go back I wasn't sent back to that clinic, I should say. So I'm covered on the mask. Candies. I have Werther's Originals Sugar-Free Caramel. These are so good. And sometimes you just want a snack, want something to munch on. So these are pretty good. I think that's like the third pack I go through. I have Icebreaker's Gum. This is a spearmint. Have to hide those from Elijah. I have my foldable clipboard. This is just a plain generic one from Amazon. I think it was like 12 bucks or something. And I have the flow sheet that I created for work. Again, depending what clinic I'm in, I don't always have somewhere to sit. I, I can't chart right away. So I just created these. So these are all the questions that we have to ask a patient, depending more or less what clinic you're in, if it's a new patient or not, if it's a post-op patient, this is everything I gotta ask. Oh, we we'll use Epic if you wanna know, if that helps you. And then I have a folder. This is work and school stuff. So this is a pretty cool binder folder that I found. I found this at Staples, I believe. Yes, Staples, I got it at Staples. And here I just have like a location of all the different clinics that we go to because there's like I think about 20 different clinics that we can be sent to. I've been to maybe nine of them so I don't know where all of them are obviously so I forget and some are off-site so I have my little cheat sheet here. Uh, this week I go to I think the sleep center. And I've never been to that one, and that one is off-site, so I have to look that up. Then I have some coursework from my humanities course, and all this is for my chem class. Like I told you, I think I mentioned this in a vlog before, or maybe I haven't yet. But I'm trying to be paperless, but he will not let me be great, because he insists on sending us stuff to print out. So we can upload to him. I don't know why if I download it to my computer and just type it up and send it that way, he won't accept it. I don't know why. He is old school. He wants to see the paper. He wants us to scan it in. He won't let me be great. But there we go. Have my iPad Pro. This is what I do for homework or I'm editing a video. This is what I do it on. But I'm at work on my lunch break. I have my calculator again for my chem class. Sometimes I'm working on some problems on my break or on my lunch. My lunch, not, I don't get breaks, I just get a lunch. I'll do homework and I need my calculator for those crazy ass equations. And that is it. So, you know, the um, Conkins have this. the um pumpkins have this little pad that they give you 
from what I was reading is for when you're outdoorsy, you just have something to sit on so you're not sitting your tush right on the ground. You sit on this. Very nice of them, right? Whatever. On the back here, we have my, uh, I have an Apple AirTag on my bag in case she decides to walk away. You know? As a float, unfortunately, there's not always somewhere to leave my stuff. So, you know, gotta be careful. I have papers back here. Why do I have this back here? I've been looking for these fucking papers. I've been looking for these worksheets. I know I printed them out for this class. I didn't remember where I put them. That's why I have a folder, damn it. But there we go. You see right here, it tells you a big old number 15. That's the size of the computer that'll fit. I got a 15, but my MacBook is a size 13. But you can put your iPad in there very nicely. Let me show you guys how my MacBook fits. Let me go get it. So here is my MacBook Pro 13 inch. It does have a clear case on it. And, and this is padded, by the way, front and back. Um, there is plenty of space, but again, this is the 15 inch and a 15 inch bag and my laptop is 13 inch so of course there is going to be extra space um, let's see if these both fit together yep i could put those both in together now this the back of the bag the zippers don't go all the way down so they go up to right here so a little less they go right to the middle up very nicely the front of the bag does go all the way down though so if you ever want to lay your bag down flat and fill it up that way you can but like i said i don't this bag gets dirty so fast or am i a sucia i'm not a sucia i don't think i am so i don't know why oh i do kind of just toss this around so it's probably why it gets dirty so fast. I do just toss it around. It takes a beating, I'll tell you that much. So, but if I take my MacBook, I do put it in the back. Otherwise, if it's just my AirPod, my iPad, sorry, sorry. If it's just my iPad, I do put that in here, in the front. I'll put it either in the main compartment or I'll just slide it back here and it fits even with this padding right there i don't like to take it out i don't know why i just feel more secure with that padding i do fit it in there and it's perfectly fine it fits very nicely what i do have to condense is this like this this makes no sense why do i have so much i don't know why i'm so paranoid about my battery dying again that's one reason why to, ugh, i bought this thing is because I don't always have somewhere to sit, so I can't just sit, um, I, sorry, my camera died, um, I didn't die, I just stopped recording for some reason, but that's another reason why I bought this sucker was because, like I said, I don't always have somewhere to sit, so I don't want to just leave my phone connected to someone's computer or something and, like, just walk away from it, I, just don't feel comfortable doing that unless I've been to that clinic before. So, I mean, it does the job. It does give me some battery. It gives me about up to 75% battery, my understanding, depending how much you have. Right now. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. It does charge. It does, it does a decent job, but I wish it was better. I wish it was a little faster. Again, my man is going to comment down below and let you know his thoughts. Um, but yeah, I'm just paranoid of not having battery. So sometimes on my lunch, I'll be able to find somewhere to plug in my phone and give me a little bit of juice. But on the rare occasions I can't, I do like to have that battery pack. 
just like that. But yeah, this is all the stuff I carry with me. Three days a week when I'm at work. You guys know I went down to part time, so probably don't need to carry all this. But I just I don't know why my brain tells me I need all this. Those of you that go to work with just your phone, your keys, and what? I don't know. Whatever minimal things that you take, show me the way because this can't be right. This is a mess. And my bag is heavy. And my back hurts. I'm getting old. <laughs> but no, I really admire you guys that don't take all this crap with you, but. I'm not cool like you. I have to take this stuff with me. Why? Because I'm nuts. And I have to have all this with me. So, yep. That's what I take with me. You guys let me know. What do you think I should eliminate? I know I'm overdoing it. So, you'd probably be like, girl, leave all this shit behind. Leave all that stuff. You don't need any of it. But I feel like I do. So... That's everything I carry in my bag. Let me know what you carry in your bag. What is a must have for you? What snacks do you like? I like talking about snacks. What goodies? What goodies do you like to take? This bag is can be very tight. Now one thing I don't like about the bag, I'm gonna tell you that right now. This is the water bottle. It, uh, I'm gonna stick it in there. I'm trying to balance it. It pushes into the bag, so it like takes up space. So I gotta, gotta kind of wiggle this behind the water bottle like that. So, oop, I'm sitting on my laptop. Okay. So there's that. There's that. Mm -hmm. Put that down. I don't need the KN95 since I got these, but actually I do need the KN95, the N95s. I can't wear them with my glasses. They don't sit right, they don't sit on my face. I can't wear them with my glasses. Ugh. So, there's that. Oh, I forgot my candy. Am I done? all in there. I could put the candy in that little bag. No, don't. My bag. And there we go, guys. That is it. I think that's it for what's in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know down below again what you carry. If you have a bag like this, what do you carry in it? I got one for my daughters. They each have one for school. And they seem to fit plenty in it, especially, I guess, just like the basics. Like my Ariana, she, I told you guys, she's in college. She has a black one, exactly the same one, just she has hers in black. She is completely paperless. She just takes her laptop and her iPad with her, her phone. She takes a couple of um, pens and papers. Yeah, I think she just has like two pens and one small notebook just in case she needs it. But otherwise, she is pretty much a paperless student. And yeah, that's it. She does have a hydro flask. Nope, that is blasphemy. She has a Yeti. Hers is a bigger and it fits in her pocket, her side pocket there. So, yep, I'm rambling. I'm done. I'm tired. I gotta go pick up my daughter. So, thank you guys. Until next time. Bye.